Hello everyone. Welcome to Edu Navi after a long time. So children, today we are going to discuss uh, this question of probability that came in the board exams of class 10th, 2022-2023. That is, it came on March 2023. Fine. So there were three probability questions. This is one of them. We are going to discuss all three. So this first question, now we are going to solve. See. Uh, pay attention. What does it say? It says two dice are thrown together. The probability of getting the difference of the numbers on their upper faces equals to three. Always you should pay attention to the important points or the highlighting differentiation, differentiating points of the question. What highlight the importance in a question? First of all, see here. There are basically two dice, right? First is two dice. Then they are saying the difference of the numbers on their upper faces and which is equal to three fine so these are the three things so first remember there are two dice dice one and dice two we are throwing the dice they have six faces whenever dice is given by default you will take to be six faces one two six from one till six so on the topmost face that is facing you that is on the upside the difference of the numbers means if we subtract the difference should be three. So what can be the possible combinations in these in this question? Just note down the possible combinations and then pick up what are your favorable. OK, so see what we can say on dice one we can get six. OK, so for the difference to be three. What should be what should we have on the second dice? We should have three, you know, six minus three is uh, three, right? Now we can also have on the first dice we can have five. So now if the difference is to be three, we knew it. Five minus two is three. Fine. So we should we should be getting two on the second dice. Now similarly we can have three on the first dice and first one on the second dice. Now we cannot have four on the first dice. Why? If we'll have four, wait. This should be four, right? Yeah, 4 minus 1 is 3. The difference here is 3. Now we cannot have 3 here. Why? If we take 3, then we should have a 0 on the other dice, which is a not which is not a possible condition. Now, children, if on first dice we are getting 6 and second dice 3, we can get vice versa also. Vice versa means we can get on first on the second dice, we can get 6. So on the first dice, we can have 3. Now see the difference. It doesn't difference means either subtract first from second or second from first. The difference between them should be three. three. So here also see six minus three is three. Here also six minus three is three. So in this case also the difference is three. Now similar means vice versa. Here second dice five. So first dice we can have two. And same if first dice is one, second dice will have four. So how many possible combinations are here? The total combinations, you just count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six possible combinations. And what is the total number of combinations? You would already know from your book also that six on first dice and six on second dice, we can have a total combination of, total combination of six is a 36 combinations. So, what is your favorable? Your favorable is 6. So, probability of the event to occur is your favorable events upon total number of events. That is 6 upon 36. You simplify it, you get answer as 1 upon 6, which is the C part as the answer. I hope this is clear. If this is clear, then I'll be going and discussing the next. Now, wait for the next question. We are going to discuss the next question with our second question. In our second question, we can see that the, what is the question saying? A card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. See, you know, we have a deck of cards or a pack of cards. We can say we have 52 cards. Okay, well shuffled means there is no partiality. So the property that the card drawn is not an ace. Don't forget this, not, it is saying not an ace. Okay, so there are two ways. Simply say, see, not an ace. If there is an ace, how many ace are there in a pack of 52 cards? Number of ace in a pack of 50 cards, 52 cards is equal to 4. Fine. 
and what is the total number of cards total cards are 52 so 52 right so uh, the probability of getting an ace is 4 upon 52 so not getting an ace is equal to probability so we can say probability of not getting an ace is equal to 1 minus the same probability of getting an ace 1 minus 4 upon 52 that is uh, you can simplify it this 4 upon 52 to 52 here itself on the 4 4 13 are so 1 minus 1 upon 13 that is 13 minus 1 that is 12 upon 13 so you get the answer as option number d okay children now let us come to the third question it is important question it is a little it is you have to think a little bit on it and you have to analyze it it is a little bit we can say higher thinking and do expect five four five percent questions like one or two questions some questions in your exams that are a little bit higher thinking order okay so you have to upscale your studies too so in this question what are we getting see the probability that a leap year has 53 sundays is 2 by 7 underlying what is important that is leap year fine and what he is asking he is just assertion assertion means he is saying stating some fact it can be true it can be wrong it is he is stating he is stating a statement fine so he says a leap year has 53 sundays the probability is 2 by 7 and he is saying the reason is that the probability that a non leap year you know not think is adding a non leap year has 53 sundays see leap year has 2 by 7 so he's saying non leap year has 53 sundays is 5 by 7 so what is it see very first of all see if you get something is true or not assertion let us see if the assertion is true or not yeah if this is true we can have some answer we know we can shortlist the answer so let us analyze this children uh, a leap year first of all if you will remember a leap year has how many days it has got 366 days that is this we can if divide by 7 we get uh, 366 divided by 7 we get mm, right that is 52 weeks the this you might remember as it is if you don't know just divide it 52 weeks plus two days you are getting two days extra fine so very clear so if there is a leap year and if the starting day is monday so you have basic if the starting days are monday then from monday till sunday this counts as one week okay similarly you have 52 such weeks so obviously you will have how many 52 mondays 52 sundays all seven days 52 plus two day plus two days so if from monday till sunday then what extra days we have we have one more monday plus one tuesday if the starting is monday if the starting is tuesday then how many we have all from tuesday till next monday all seven 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 means 52 in numbers okay so we can we just put here 52 monday till sunday 52 this also 52 plus what is next after monday comes tuesday and wednesday now similarly 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 what are we mainly looking for we are looking for sunday sunday should be 53 this has not got 53 53 53 we'll know that with this extra day or some other day should be sunday so when it comes to suppose friday after friday we get extra saturday and sunday yeah it has sunday so till here we will come till friday yeah so friday to next thursday these are 52 for each plus after thursday comes again friday plus saturday Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, Friday comes Friday, Saturday. Then next one, we say Saturday till uh, Friday. We again get 52. Then plus, we are adding after Saturday, we can again get one more Saturday plus Sunday. After this, again comes the day. If the starting is Sunday, then we have 52 days from Sunday till Monday, pre next Monday, right? Plus, you get one Sunday and you get after Sunday comes again Monday. Now see, in all these, 
where can you find 53 sundays 53 sundays are all available only see 52 sundays are here plus one extra it makes it 53 here also 52 sundays all days are 52 here plus one more day extra that is this sunday now see total number of cases case number 1 2 after tuesday wednesday thursday okay 3 4 5 6 and 7 out of the seven cases in two cases you have 53 sundays for a leap year given leap year these all have equal probability of happening right equal probability of happening now so what is your answer you can get 53 sundays the probability is 2 out of 7 right these two cases out of total 7 now if this is not a leap year then what happens that is pretty simple see in leap year you are getting 2 days extra if it is not a leap year there are 365 days that makes it 52 days regular days plus 1 means extra day so we can get 53 sundays how let us see in that basically if you just analyze the next one we are writing the next one means this row this is extra for that right basically 365 days are there so this row is extra what do you do see you just remove the next one so 53 sundays are available only in i'll change the color so that you are able to identify only in this one okay let me write it down let me write it down break it down for you see if the starting is again monday and from monday till pre the next sunday uh, there are 52 only one you are getting extra again monday okay tuesday till monday plus one more tuesday then wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday okay all are covered this again whatever plus one more wednesday thursday till uh, next plus one more thursday friday till some plus uh, what comes after friday then saturday till something plus one sunday and sunday till something plus wait saturday plus sunday sunday till something plus some one monday right so these are the days just notice the last one uh, when you getting 52 sundays in this also you have only 52 sunday sundays in every one in all you are getting 52 sundays except uh, let me again change the color in this one second last one can you notice this has 52 sundays plus this extra okay so this is just one case out of seven one case out of seven this is a non leap year right so now we have the probabilities what are what do we have the probabilities 2 by 7 and the for non leap year it is 1 by 7 now let us analyze the uh, choices that have been given to us so basically you can clearly see the reason this 5 by 7 is absolutely wrong so reason is false reason is false assertion is true so obviously the when the reason is false how can it be a explanation for the assertion so basically the answer is assertion a is true but reason r is false that is option number c children if you do have any uh, query in this you are not able to uh, understand something do comment and share it with your friends so that you know if you share your knowledge it increases you can share this video to your friends and uh, do subscribe and do give comments and if you have any queries feel free to ask fine okay uh, so with this we'll end this uh, video and we'll meet next time okay thanks bye jai hind